That's my family tree That's my family tree No bad vibes, just good energy If you know about them, then you know about me, so and This week, the gymnasts landed in Birmingham. <laughs> 21 years old. They are fired up gymnasts, this. Two British gymnasts competing here. Yes, absolutely. So we've got Dominic Cunningham, hometown Birmingham, and then we've also got James Hall as well. Also in the lineup, we've got Olympic medalist Nikita Nagorni, and we also know that countries that produce gymnasts from Japan, China are always going to be bringing the top, top level gymnasts. <laughs> nice to show my friends and my family. They only ever get to see it on the internet. What are your thoughts going into this competition? It's in my hometown. Yeah, now nah, I'm just really excited to have this opportunity to compete for an all-around uh, World Cup. There's a lot of my secondary school coming. We've got a few flag bearers that are going to be in front of me. And, uh, it's just nice to give back to what they've done for me. They've done a lot for me in the past. They're not able to come out to Australia or France or Germany to come watch the competitions, whereas this is just around the corner. It's nice for them to actually see what I do. Looking ahead just at the Commonwealth Games, what are your hopes and dreams out in Australia? To bring back the medals. I'm not out there to enjoy the sun. Well, of course I am, but... <laughs> I need to, I'm out there for a job and um, that is my aim, my goal. It'll be one of my dreams to come back with a Commonwealth medal. You're competing in Birmingham. What are you thinking uh, ahead of this competition? Where would you like to see yourself? It's a tough one. Any, anything can happen in gymnastics. It's not just on one event, it's, a, it's six apparatus. So if we've done one apparatus, we, don't, we can't think, oh, that was the best thing I've ever done. We'll sit back and relax. We can't do that. These people I'm competing against are people I've been watching on the TV. They're always my role models, but now it's... Those friends turn into enemies tonight and um, whatever happens, happens and uh, the results will show at the end. So I'm just out there to have fun. Dominic is the definition of enthusiasm, <laughs> isn't he? You can't wait to get going. And so to the pommel horse, Dominic Cunningham, big test for this young gymnast. Composure before the start. Come on, Dominic. Good control up into the handstand, single leg work, picks up into the double leg circle. Working well on one handle. Needs to keep the momentum. And he is doing. Come on, that's good. Good extension in the hips. Working well, travelling forwards. That's the Magyar travel. Backwards. Connecting the Shibardo, come on, keep fighting, up into the handstand. Pirouette, well, what a start for Dominic Cunningham. Oh, fantastic for Dominic. He's such an explosive gymnast. He's really had to work so hard to harness his concentration for these more technical pieces. You can see there his legs are locked together. You need to have the hips open to ensure that the judges aren't going to deduct for him. So 13.033 for Dominic Cunningham. He'll be happy with that. Time for a little refreshment. Onto the vault, representing Great Britain, it's Dominic Cunningham. Beautifully stylish gymnast, very powerful run. Super vault, the half turn on, the double twist off. One of the most difficult vaults, with great with control. Here's his preferred piece of apparatus to half on with the double twist. <laughs> Not a flicker on the landing. Absolutely fantastic. 14.833 for Dominic Cunningham on the vault. He's be happy with that, Christine. Well, he really didn't give very much away at all on that vault. Very precise in the lead. Nikita Nagorni first. Shogo Nonomura from Japan second, but at this stage, Dominic Cunningham from the city of Birmingham and Great Britain. Representing Great Britain on the polo bars, Dominic Cunningham. Support from this home crowd. Very nice little front somersault. Super control in this handstand. Full pirouette and another good swing up to that handstand and control. Very difficult work on one handle and then out to two. Hits the top of the swing. Oh, super work. 
Very good indeed. Pirouetting off the one handle. Needs to keep this focus for the dismount. Double pike. He certainly does. Well, not quite so hugely difficult as Noyan, but a super performance from Dominic Cunningham. He did work the bars really, really well. Locks those arms out. Legs went a little bit in the double pike back, but stuck the landing. He'll be happy with that. He's having his dinner, Dominic. He's happy there. 13.966 on the parallel bars. Pushes him into second place. And, and our final competitor needs a massive 16 to take the lead. But he's very exciting. Watch out for Dominic Cunningham on the floor. Such a powerful tumbler. Look at that opening tumble. Double twist in the straight position. Two somersaults, two twists. Double front with a half turn. Such an exciting performer on this piece of apparatus. Spatially aware, one and a half twist backwards into the double twist forward. So that's connection bonus as well. Stands up, double twisting, double back for the full tumble. And this routine is watered down. Two and a half twist. That's the Russian circle. This is going well. Stands up, triple twist, little adjustment. Well, what a performance to end this competition. Dominic Cunningham. Oh, great performance from Dominic. There we are, that was the opening tumble, double straight with double twist. And then handspring, double front with the half turn. That step really was his only hesitation on landing. Just a little dance before he went into the final tumble. He looked very tired, but a super triple twist to finish off. And 14.066 for Dominic Cunningham puts him into fourth. A very impressive World Cup performance from Dominic Cunningham. And Dominic Cunningham, fourth, 82.531. Having your teammate alongside you, did that help you a little bit, having James in that group? Yeah, just to have him alongside me and just say, well done, keep going. We've got one more piece, got two more pieces. It's just incredible to have someone so close to me that we're actually against each other. So, yeah, it's just so good to be walking away from this competition with a big smile on my face, my first World Cup. And, uh, yeah, I'm fourth place, so I can't really go wrong with that. Well, one of the standout events was Don Cunningham on the... Uh, it's just unbelievable what he did on vault. Let's just have a look at this. It was the highest execution score of the whole competition for this piece, Chris. It was, and we was trying to take it apart earlier and find out where exactly the deductions came from. Um, and there isn't much to take off, let's be honest. You can see yeah. he snaps his feet in on the round off, gets a good connection with the arms on the vault. You can see the legs slightly split there, so the judges would have took off that. But the actual twist, the double twist, legs jammed together, toes pointed, no movement whatsoever on the landing. So it, it really, you know, that's a world-class vault right there. So great vaulting by him. Tell you what, what a competition that was. It was incredible. I tell you, my first, my first World Cup and I came fourth overall. I struggled a bit on floor, but I powered through and I tell you what, the crowd, thank you very much for helping me and get me through. I really enjoyed everyone being there in Birmingham. I tell you what, yeah, it was just incredible. I can't get over it. That's my family tree. That's my family tree. No bad vibes, just good energy. If you know about them, then you know about me, so that's my family tree. That's